Hey, this is a video introduction to the ferro rod for my buddy Brandon. This is my fire kit, just a basic deer hide patchwork with a gusset. This is a mower knife called Light My Fire. One of my favorite knives to work with. <laughs> Makes good sparks, real nice. Okay, so we got a mower knife. Check. I like using jute twine. I call it flash tinder. Jute twine that's been torn apart. Use that one today. It's a basic Chinese knockoff barrel rod. It's about three and a half inches long. A piece of this flash tinder. And I make a little bundle. I don't need much for demonstration. There are five different techniques to use a ferro rod. First one I'm going to demonstrate is called the pull technique. So I'm going to plant my hand down on the ground. It's not going to move. Only the ferro rod is going to move. Demo number one. Pull technique. There. Pole technique. All right, good stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stab the log. Okay, like that. So it's nicely stabbed in there. Grab another little bundle. See, it's jute twine, eh? So I rip it apart. It's just that that dollar store rope, eh? And you rip it apart, untwine it, and. Rip it apart. Basic, eh? There you go. So I'm going to put it right there. Another pull technique. So it's in there. I'm holding the knife. And ta-da. There you go. Easy peasy, yeah? We're going to go into another technique called the push technique. <laughs> push technique. So what I'm doing is I'm holding my my knife against the ferro rod and I'm going to push. See, it works nice, eh? The problem with that is sometimes you'll hit it and you'll accidentally flick it away. You know, so that you got to be aware of that with the push technique. Okay. So that's the push technique. The next one is my favorite. A piece of birch bark. Give it a good cut. Boom. Okay. Either do it this way. We're not going to use this stuff on this. You could either scrape it and or cut into it like on an angle and lift like that. Cut into an angle, curl it up, and lift. So what I'm doing is I'm creating spark surface places i want the sparks to touch eh? and ignite well, you see how it looks very basic eh? I'm just lifting and cutting so this is called the carrot technique you place it down you lock it down and then you're just going to scrape it okay until You get that. Okay. This is one that I don't use a lot. But people do do it in the bushcraft community. And they do teach it. And it's called the flick. So you just take your knife and you're just going to scrape a little bit. And what happens is this barrel rod material is going to have a dent after many uses. Eh? So a flick. So what I'm doing is I'm scraping. You see? See how I'm scraping all that, that stuff onto the material? I don't know if you can see that. Let me try to zoom in here. You see the little flakes there? Those little flakes are going to ignite when I spark it. Okay? So, we won't even use this. Just watch. You see them sparking? Like little firecrackers, eh? Okay, so that's the thing about this little flicking. You're actually scraping just a little bit to get some of those shavings onto your material 
and then boom I don't really care for that because it, it just makes all these dents inside my ferro rod and I like a straight ferro rod to strike okay alrighty so those are the techniques we'll go over that real quick again <clears throat> one pull technique easy peasy right two pull stab technique pull stab technique yeah easy peasy right three push technique ah, push technique there number four the carrot scrape or vegetable scrape or whatever you want to call it the scrape technique okay and the last one the flick the flicker I don't know what you call this technique actually I just call it a flick get your thing out yeah, flick it there you go she's sparking and those are the five techniques I know to work a ferro rod. Okay? And that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching. Minogies, you got it's a good day, it's raining. Plants are loving this rain. Talk to you later.